We have a woman who paid a thousand dollars, a whole stack, a whole stack, a whole rubber band. Shout out to you, them. Um, Ti and Dro, Ti and Dro, them. Um, she paid a stack to have her grandparents murder. I thought I did this story. I don't think I did this story. Here we go. Murder of an elderly couple. Their granddaughter has now been arrested, and today she faced. Y'all wrong for that right there. Y'all wrong for that right there. Skip. Face a judge twice. Local 10's Laren Livingston is live in Fort Lauderdale with the latest. Laren. support. Authorities wasted no time either. They presented this case to the grand jury on Wednesday. This woman was in handcuffs yesterday, and again, she was back in court this morning and this afternoon. We were there last night as 34-year-old Jalisa Hill was escorted into the Broward County Jail. This morning, you're charged with two counts of murder in the first degree. She appeared before a Broward County judge accused of killing her grandparents. I don't have no sympathy because at the end of the day, that was my mama that I lost and my dad. Dennis Parker's parents, Major and Claudette Melvin, were shot to death in their Fort Lauderdale home back in March. Their Red Ford Fusion had also been stolen. Maurice Newson. Hill's ex-boyfriend was later arrested for stealing and selling the couple's car. So the ex-boyfriend is involved, not the current boyfriend. Go ahead. Police say Hill worked with her ex to kill her grandparents. Shot that baby out for having her real. Her arrest report details the conflicting story she gave detectives about who would inherit her grandparents' home, about her interactions with her ex. It notes how she called the car insurance company to file a claim on the stolen car on behalf of her grandparents days after their death, never telling the insurance rep, though, that her grandparents were dead. <laughs> wow. You say that I did do this story? You say you did this? You say it was the big baby? Oh, oh what? well, this, this is probably like an update then. Police say okay, she did, did, however, ask who the insurance check would be made out to. Where that money coming to? Who name gonna be on that check? Police also say that she zelled her ex $1,000 weeks after the murder. Electronic devices, electronic transfers, wires, white sending money like that if it's not hand-to-hand -hand cash, that's a receipt. Charges are two counts of murder in the first degree. He was back in court this afternoon, reappearing with a newly hired attorney. She was held without bond. And Dennis Parker's words to his niece. And if you had anything to do with it, like I said, I want you to ride in hell. He say if you had anything to do with it, just his facial expression as he was saying it because it's like he really didn't want to say it. You know good as hell well she has something to do with it. We play too much a lot of times. We still trying to hold that little family thing together. Um, bitch, you done killed my mom and my daddy. <laughs> bitch, I hope you're right in hell and you be at the gate when Willie at the gate. Bitch, let me tell you why you can't get in. Out bond. Mm -hmm. And Dennis Parker's words to his niece. And if you had anything to do with it, like I said, I want you to ride in hell. Kind of like he didn't want to say that right there, cause that's probably like his little brother churn. That's his, that's his brother daughter and or his sister daughter, something like that right there. And he don't want them to be mad. Mm -hmm. He don't want them to be mad. Um, do y'all understand that the ex helped her or was a part of a double murder for a stack? Y'all some broke ass dudes. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. A thousand dollars, and maybe a promise against some more of that monkey. I have no idea. But a stack, man. We can't do nothing with a thousand dollars after we kill somebody. After we kill somebody, because listen, if I get caught, everybody going down. Everybody going down. I'm telling on Diddy. I'm telling on oh everybody. I'm just saying, listen. Very candid, very emotional. They did not tell us what the what what the grandparents did. Is the only thing that they did was um have some property to leave behind? Hmm? Huh? 
she really thought that she was like gonna get the house or something. The grandparents have a son, at least that we know. He's he's next in line, unless Grandma had done told her that she was finna get the damn house. Listen, y'all stop telling people what is going to be left to them when y'all die. If y'all have life insurance, please do not tell your children how much y'all life insurance is. Because they may be struggling right at the moment. Hell, they may be like a little bit like in debt or something and they need that paper. I'm just trying to help. Moving right along. I ain't going to eat much 